Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. So today we're going to talk about new love. We are going to take a look at who is coming forward, what are their personality. Woo, it's already wanted to talk. Uh, what is their personality, uh, how you'll meet, how the relationship will be. So yeah, don't forget to smash like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. I do have a new private reading dedicated to new love. So if you want to dive a little deeper into this, the link is going to be down below. And yeah, I think that's it. So let's start here with some traits. And take has many, has resonate, okay? And leave what doesn't resonate, what doesn't feel right, okay? So we do have a accountant. They could be an accountant. I do feel like they are really good with money. So even if they are not an accountant, I really feel like they are really good with like managing their money and everything. We also have fire. So they could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I also feel like they're always, um, like they're really hot all the time, all the puns intended, <laughs> but I feel like they are really, um, like, I feel like especially their hands and their cheeks, like they are always really hot. Uh, we also have emotional, we have gifts, so this person really likes to give gifts. Um, and with emotional, I feel like they kind of go a little bit, like they have really high highs and really low lows. and. Um, if they are a woman, I feel like that really is something huge during that time of the month. I feel like that is something that they really struggle with because I feel like they feel things so deeply and, um, I feel like they are also very sensitive. So I feel like anything that you say, it's like, uh, man, if you, if you really don't mean it with a bad intention, but they actually get it with a bad intention, they're going to be so hurt. It's like any little thing really hurts them really badly. And yeah, not to worry you, but yeah. <laughs> so we also have long hair here. And I'm also hearing blonde. So they could be, um, they could have really light, long blonde uh, hair. We have 20 to 25. So again, this is um, some age period. So take it if it resonates. If they are a little bit young for you, then that's totally okay. Don't take it. Let's see if we have anything else. Dark hair. So maybe they are actually not blonde. <laughs> maybe they are actually, um, they have dark hair. We also have 40 to 45. Let's pull here some tarot to get some more details. Because we have a lot of like um, physical features. So, ooh, four of pentacles. We have power. I feel like this person actually, when it comes to sex, they really like to be um, dominant. Um, it doesn't matter if they are female or if they are male, they like to be in the dominant spot. I also feel like uh, they're, well, I'm getting a lot of sexual energy. Um, they also are a pretty big giver here. Ooh, all right. So we have nine of pentacles. We also have the nine of cups. I like this energy because they are very independent. And again, with that nine of cups of the happiness, it's like, all their highs are really, really high highs. I feel like they are the type of person that if they're having a, a super good day, they are annoyingly happy. <laughs> it's like they're jumping all around and they're like always laughing. And actually I feel like that would be really good because I feel like they help you, um, I don't know, like experience more emotions. And I feel like that could actually be something that you're going to admire about this person is like, they are always so, able to they're always like ready to lift you up they're always ready to be there for you and to support you in any way you can and yeah i just noticed that we have this three of swords with sorrow on the bottom of the deck so again it's like really high highs really low lows and with the nine of pentacles here with gain i feel like first of all when it comes to career they could definitely be in a position of power and i feel like they do really well with their career and again like talking about money right even if they are not an accountant i really feel like they have really good skills around like managing money budgeting and really understanding how finances work they could have a, like a really a lot of control over their money they could even invest um that is also something that is coming up really strongly because i feel like they are able to um make money it's like create money you know they're able to so yeah maybe they work at a bank but they're able to like create money without having to really work for it so a lot of like investing kind of energy 
and I also feel like they are a little bit they could definitely be like a Leo or something because I feel like they are very like they like to receive attention I also feel like with the gifts it's like they like to give gifts but they also really like to receive gifts because with this nine of pentacles like this dude just I'm not sure if he picked up the sunflowers but maybe he was gifted the sunflowers and he's like this is so beautiful you know <laughs> and he's really like oh, I know I'm the best and I know I deserve these flowers and I feel like they are really um they could really be a, a fire sign especially a Leo because Leos are seen as like really confident but the dark side of the confidence is the all the insecurities that come with that and that Leos don't usually show. And so I would even say that there's a little bit of that energy because sometimes they could have this really like high happiness and annoying happiness of like always dancing around the, the room and everything. But inside they could sometimes be hurting while they do that. And I feel like they're the type of person to put other people's needs first and to just like making sure that other people's are other people are satisfied and happy. And I feel like they're an amazing friend. Actually, I don't think it's almost like I don't think that they have any problem making friends. They may actually like have a lot of friends or friends, let's call it. Um, but like best, 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 best friends, there's like one or two uh, i feel like they are really selective with the people that they actually support it's like i feel like everyone that meets this person everyone always thinks that this person is so kind and so happy and so you know joyful and fun to be around with but i don't think that everyone is able to get to know them at a very deep level you know so we also have here eight of wands swiftness and i, I definitely feel like you know, it wants is about communication and it's about like a lot of movement forward. And uh, I even like this girl right here, she's throwing rainbows. So it's like, I feel like this person is going to just like throw rainbows at everyone. And I feel like they throw rainbows at everyone that they meet. And they're like, yo, feel better. <laughs> Come on, what are you waiting for? Get up and start doing something. I feel like they're a great motivator. And I just really feel like they, they bring people up. Um, which is beautiful, and I also feel like they really like to talk. Sometimes they may talk really fast, especially when they are excited about something or when they are talking about something that they are really interested in. I feel like they really get they get really excited and they like talk and talk and talk and talk and talk like crazy. I also feel like they are stronger than they look. Because again, I get this very like sweet and pure, um, innocent energy from them and like always happy. But it's like, I feel like their deepest battles go inside and not a lot of people know it. And it's like, if you, if you knew what they were going through, you would be like, yo, but do you need help? You know, like, are you okay? Can you deal with that alone? And I feel like they're used to dealing with that alone, especially with the Nine of Pentacles. It's a lot of independence. Nine of Pentacles is the single lady. Like, I'm confident, I'm independent, I don't need anyone. And I feel like they kind of got used to dealing with stuff on their own. And so I really feel like they have gone through a lot of battles, silent battles, that if people knew what they went through, people would be like really concerned and people would feel really sorry for not being there for them, you know? Um, we also have the Princess of Swords. I do feel like they, they have a little bit of trouble asking for help. That is also something. Funny enough, I actually feel like that is something that you're going to teach them and that is something that you're going to help them with. Um, Cause I feel like you may even be the, the first person to come through and um, I'm hearing make them want to need you, you know? Not that they are going to find excuses to need you or anything like that, but it's like, I feel like you are one of the few people, maybe they're friends, they open up about the, that type of stuff, but I feel like you're one of the few people that you make them want to open up like 100%, give you all their heart, you know, um, and show all of their sides, the good and the bad, the deepest battles that they fight um, every day and everything. And... I really feel like they never really felt that with anyone, that safe with anyone, you know? That is beautiful. So, talking about that, let's actually get into the relationship and 
see here what you're going to experience together. Ooh, we have the world with death here. So a, a lot of like transformation with the world that also tells me that this is going to be a relationship that is going to last a very, very long time. Um, this could be like your forever person. And I also feel like there's, again, there's this thing of like, I'm able to show you my true colors. I'm able to show you everything that is going on inside. Um, another thing with this Princess of Swords here, which is a page of swords, I get this energy of like being a little bit sneaky. So I do feel like they really like to cook up surprises. So for example, in your birthday, they could sometimes feel like they are hiding something from you. They are. They're preparing like a surprise birthday party or something for you. And I really feel like they are really sneaky sometimes. I don't get it in a like cheating way or nothing like that. I do get it like using the sneakiness for good, you know? Because uh, I feel like this person is like full of good intentions, especially when it comes to others. I feel like they have a hard time dealing with themselves, um, especially because they could have like really deep emotions. But when it comes to others, they, they only have good intentions, you know? And that's why I feel like everyone loves them when they meet them. Um, there are some jealous people that are like, yeah, you know, they, those jealous people could even like um, gossip about this person or something like that. But I don't think that this person really bothers too much about it. But getting back here on how the relationship would be with, um, with the world card, I feel like it would be very freeing, especially with the death card showing up as well. I feel like this would be beautiful for you to kind of let go of beliefs around love. Um, again, I feel like you're going to be able to trust each other and to kind of open up to the most vulnerable side because that emotion um emotional side of them i really feel like it's something that they hold near i do feel like people see that that they are like very emotional and they i feel like they live through their heart but i don't think that they are able to see the full spectrum of their emotions you know and especially with this delicate fleeting beauty when life is not coming up roses look to the weeds and find the beauty hidden within them so I definitely feel like this is what we were talking about of like um, really being vulnerable and helping one another to see the good side. I especially feel like this is going to be their biggest purpose on your life is like showing you the positive side of life, showing you the positive side of situations, even if they are not the best, even if sometimes they feel like they're too heavy to bring up anything good. I feel like they're really going to show you that it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah, look at that, we have wedding. I feel like this person is really going to be your, your person. And um, I feel like you're going to have a very beautiful, long relationship. I, it's interesting because I don't necessarily feel like there are going to be kids involved. Or if you do have the kids, I feel like it's going to be a little bit later on um, in the relationship. So you could be married, you could like, you could date for 10 years, you could be married for another five, and only then you would have kids or something like that, you know? Um, yeah. I feel like you're going to spend a lot of time, like just the two of you, and only if you really feel the thing. I also feel like you could adopt, that is another thing. That's why I may not feel like you are going to have kids, even though adopted kids are, are like children um, from for their parents. But I feel like there's this thing of like you having kids from your womb, you know, from this person's womb, whatever it is. Um, I feel like that is either a little bit later on the line or it's like you're going to prefer to adopt. Because I do feel like it's going to be a decision of yours. All right, but I feel like there are going to be some challenges, but it's like it's not going to be any big deal. I even feel like the challenges that you experienced in previous relationships, they're going to show up again, not necessarily physically. It could be like an insecurity, it could be a fear that is going to show up, but I feel like you're going to like talk about stuff and it's almost like that cycle or that issue is resolved. It's like all you need, I feel like this is going to happen like anything, um, any argument that you have, any situation that you face and challenge that you face, it's like you just need to talk about stuff and things are going to be resolved. I feel like you have really good communication skills 
and you're going to be able to overcome a lot of stuff because of it, okay? So let's see here, what do we have around how you'll meet this person? I really feel like this person is really like, I don't know, I can, I can hear them like giggle and everything. Uh, I feel like they have a very childish laugh <laughs> in the sense that it's like a very sweet and innocent laugh. That could actually be one of the first things that you notice about this person. But let's see here, how will these two meet? So we have the three of ones. So you could actually meet them, woo, meet them while you travel. Whoa, 10 of cups. I also feel like there's going to be some sort of, well, I'm getting so many Donalds. <laughs> so one of the things is that you may actually be um, at like, I don't know, releasing someone or something bad happened to you that day something that kind of broke your heart or something. And you may actually meet this person on the same day. Um, it's like, I really feel like, it doesn't have to be like you just came out of a, an argument or something like that. It could just be that you're emotionally, spiritually, just releasing a person out of your system or, or a job, you know? Um, you're kind of grieving over something. And when the, you're in that place, I feel like this person could actually show up. Wow, and it's so interesting because we have like this beautiful, beautiful energy of like 10 of cups, king of cups, ace of cups, bottom of deck, we have the two of cups, we have the lovers. A lot of like soulmate, union, love, romantic feelings, open heart, a lot of that is going to happen. And it's kind of confirming that thing of like when you're releasing something, you're kind of making room for this person to come in. And it's like, it's like in a matter of seconds, you know, it's in a matter of I don't know, it's just like, it, it feels automatic. <laughs> it feels like, bye, oh, hi. You know, it's like you just turn your face and there they are. And it could even be like, for example, you're changing jobs and this person, it's the first person that you meet on the new job. You know, it could be something like that. But I definitely feel like this is, like, I feel like this is a person of your dreams with all of these cups, energy, 10 of cups, that is the happily ever after. Um, King of Cups here, they could be an, um, a Cancer as well, but I just feel like this person, oh, they could actually be a Cancer Leo eventually, but I do feel like this person is going to be super caring, especially if you're like crying your ass off, uh, releasing whatever you were releasing. I feel like this person is really going to be like soothing you. And because again, it's like they cannot support, they cannot stand, see someone cry. It's just like, it hurts them too much. So they automatically go there. I feel like this person is the mom friend, you know? And so they automatically go there and they're like, oh my God, are you okay? Do you need anything? What can I, what do you need? What can I do for you, you know? And I feel like that could actually be how it starts. Um, not that I'm saying that anything bad is going to happen to you. Again, it could just be that you're releasing something from the past. It's like you're finally um, finishing a cycle and this person just kind of shows up. And I feel like you're actually, you could meet and you could go straight away to like um, grab a cup of, of coffee or grab a cup of tea, you know, something like that. Um, I feel like you're really going to connect sh straight away. I don't think it's going to be like um, necessarily love at first sight, but I do feel like it's going to be a lot of interest at first sight. And I feel like you're going to start talking straight away. I feel like you could even go to like deep conversations, not in terms of emotions, in terms of like spirituality and um, just like, interest that you have. I feel like you're going to discuss a lot of it. I'm hearing books. So you could like, um, you or this person could actually be reading a book at the time when you meet um, and they're like, oh, I, I read that book too. Or, oh, do you know that author? I really love them and everything. And I feel like, um, or that could just be one of the first topics that you talk about. And I feel like you're going to like, the more you talk about stuff, I feel like the more you're going to realize that you have so much in common. And that's why I feel like this 10 of cups energy, and I mean, all these cups energy is showing up straight away. It's because I really feel like there's this immediate recognition of like, 
yo, if this is not something romantic, we're going to be besties, you know, you're going to be someone important in my life. And I feel like that is not just a knowing. I feel like that is a wanting. It's like, bro, we get along so well. I really want you in my life. You know, I really want to get to know you. I really want something bigger, something with you. And yeah, I also feel like it could be like, as you go to work, because I feel like there's this energy of like a little bit of travel, but it, it doesn't feel like a travel, um, like a trip or uh, like to another country or something like that. I feel like it's more around like day to day stuff. So it could just be like, you're going to buy some bread <laughs> and this person is there. Or again, on the way for your new job, they are there, you know? I do feel like there's some something here about like a transitional point because you have like 10 which is about endings, and you immediately have the ace, uh, which is about, like, new beginnings. And, like, immediately after the ace, you have the two of cups. So it's, like, you don't even have the time to fall in love. Just, like, shabam. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see here some timing. So, again, if you want to dive a little deeper and you want to see, for example, what is blocking this connection, what are the things working in your favor, how you can align with them, um, and just dive a little deeper into all these details. The link is going to be down below for a prab reading. And yeah, let's see here. All right. So we do have further in the future. So I really feel like that is talking about the kids, actually. Because um, yeah, we do have very soon. <laughs> so I feel like when it comes to meeting, uh, summer could be relevant here. Or even spring. But, um, I mean, we do have the king of summer, so yeah. Uh, not right now. We also have within a month. And, oh, within a week. All right. So, uh, there's definitely fast energy here. I really feel like kids are going to be, like, really later on in this relationship. And we do have within a month, within a week. So, one week. Um, one month time period there and just go with the flow I feel like this is going to feel very natural actually um, but yeah so cancer this sounds promising I really love this uh, especially because this could be your forever person so um, I hope this excited you I hope you liked it don't forget to smash like button if it did and to subscribe if you haven't already and yeah Priorities link is going to be down below. In case you're a cusp, there's going to be a cusp survey over there. And yeah, so I wish you the best. Um, I love you very much. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I wish you the best. I love you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.